This progression has three parts to it. Let's focus on the first part first. The first part has three positions that your hands are gonna be in. So let's go to the first position. The first position, we're gonna have the first finger on the first fret on the third string, and then the second finger goes on the fifth string in the second fret, just like this. So build your fingers just like that, just two fingers, and you play all six strings. Yeah. Next position, This now, now watch my fingers, okay? The next position you've seen on the screen, I'll sh show it to you here, but before you move your fingers from the first position, look at the second position and then watch my fingers move to the second position from the first position. It's really easy move, okay? So what you do is you're in the first position, you lift up your second finger, slide your first finger over to the second fret, add your third finger now on the fifth string over here in the fourth fret. So wanna see that again? You're in the first position, you just take your second finger off, slide your first finger over to the next fret, add that third finger on the third, or on the fifth string in the fourth fret, and you strum six strings again. And then, if you look at the third position without moving your fingers from the second position, look at the third. Now, look at my fingers moving from the second position and to the third position. And this is all very important to know this, okay? So taking your third finger off, moving your first finger all the way over to the fourth fret this time, adding your second finger on the fifth string in the fifth fret now, like the exact same sort of um, shape as the first position, but just up more, and you're playing six strings. So I'll show you that again. From the second position, you're sliding it over two frets this time and then adding your second finger on there on the fifth fret. Okay, so your first finger stays in the same string the whole time and it alternates between second and third finger on the fifth string, okay? So I'll show you that, just, well, I'll show you it and then um, I'll have you try it, okay? So first position, then sliding over to the second position, then to the third position. There you go. So why don't you try it now? You'll do the first position and I'll um, have it on the screen right here. Put your fingers in the first position and then strum all six strings. And then head over to the second position when you're ready. If you need to pause this video, totally do it. The second position, slide that first finger over and then add your third finger on and strum all six strings. And then next, go to that third position, slide that first finger over, and then add that second finger on and play all six strings. Awesome. So that's the first part. If you memorize this, which is easy to memorize because it's very simple, then it'll make it even easier for you. But for now, it's totally okay, it's new. But I'll show you the eventual thing we're going for once we go over all of it, okay? So the second part, very similar situation, except different positions, right? So our, our, our fingers are gonna look different for each position. So first position for the second part, we're going to have our second and third finger on the guitar, as you can see on the chord chart. You're gonna have your second finger on the fourth string in the second fret, and your third finger on the second string in the second fret. So both are on the same fret on different strings. Then you strum five strings. Yeah, and the fingers that you use definitely matter because I'll show you, look at position two, leave your fingers in position one, look at position two on the screen. You're gonna slide your second finger over to the fourth fret, add your first finger on the second string in the third fret and strum five strings. And then, if you can look on the screen, position number three, 
Now watch my fingers move from position two to position three. We're going to move the second finger into the fifth fret and add the third finger on in there on the second string. So your second finger stays on the fourth string the entire time. And you play five strings again. Okay, so that's the second part. Okay, so the third part has a sort of complicated chord in there. Uh, as you can see, it's a B7. Okay, so B7, the full version is a gorgeous chord because you use multiple strings. The more strings you can play, the fuller a chord is gonna sound. But since we all are beginners here, right? And we're just starting out, we can modify this chord to make it a little easier at first. Of course, our eventual goal is the full chord B7, but for the purpose of this, you know, we want to make it fun and exciting. And of course, I like to throw in an easy version just to get you started, um, but the, with the eventual challenge of, you know, trying the full chord. And as you develop in your ability, you're going to be able to do that easier and easier as your fingers get stronger, as they get used to moving into different positions that they're not used to uh, moving into right now, eventually you're gonna get this. So I'll give you the options right now, what you can choose from, and it's your choice what you want to work on. But for the purposes of making this a smooth thing, the easier version might be better for you um, at first. B7, the full chord looks like this. All four fingers, all four fingers are on the guitar. So that can be intimidating for some people, especially if we're using our pinky, you know? The pinky doesn't really do much for many different reasons, you know? The pinky kind of is an assistant. But now on the guitar, it has to be its own finger. You know, it has to have its own strength. So I put my fingers on in B7, the full version. There's two different versions of the full version that we can use. So this one I'll show you is, we'll build it finger by finger. You're going to put your fourth finger. We can just try the hard version first and then, then we'll kind of just cut it in half and I'll show you what I mean. So you're gonna put the pinky on the first string in the second fret. You can also build this from the first finger to the fourth finger, but I'm doing it backwards, fourth finger to the first finger, okay? So pinky's on the first string in the second fret. The um, third finger's in the second fret too, but it is on the third string. And then the second finger is on the second fret as well, but on the fifth string, okay? So you can do that, you can build it you know, backwards, second, third, fourth, and then last, first is on the fourth string in the first fret. So then we play five strings. Or if you don't like that too much, you feel like your fingers need a little bit more space, you can put the second finger up a little bit onto that sixth string, but you have to make sure it's muting this. So if uh, most of the time we don't want a chord to be muted or any strings to be muted, um, but in this case, we want this fifth string to be muted. Otherwise, it would sound, it doesn't sound good. It's not part of the chord. So when you put, if you do use the version where you put your second finger on the sixth string, you're gonna want this fifth string to be muted just like that. And then you play all six strings. So the version I just showed you, you just play five strings. This one, you'd play all six. And it does kind of have that lower beautiful sound in it too, of that sixth string. Okay, so if that's just too much for you right now though, you can, and it'll, it'll give sort of the same sound, um, you can just take off your second finger and you know, you can use different fingers for this too, different positioning, but you can just take off your second finger and keep your fingers where they are and only play four strings. Or, if that's just too weird for you still, because I know we're, we're at the beginning, right? We can just do the where the third, third and fourth finger are. We can also use our first and second finger and just do that. But in this case though, you're putting just one finger, whatever finger it is on the third string and one finger on the first string in the second fret. The only thing about this though is you only can play three strings, okay? So if you did this, only three strings. You still can use this though. 
it's our turnaround chord in our third part and I'll explain more in a little bit when we do this. No matter what B7 you choose, remember how many strings you play uh, and then this, the next position that we're gonna do on the last part is the you know, first position technically on the second part. It's the same exact one. So we're gonna do our second finger. It's technically an A7, but we're gonna put our second finger on the fourth string in the second fret and our third finger on the second string in the second fret as well. All that being said, let's try it out. I'm gonna show you how it's supposed to sound. And then I'm gonna tell you how to make it sound that way. So the full progression sounds like this. So that's what it's gonna sound like when you are done. So the way you get to that point is you go through the first part and just practice the transitions. Get used to them, how that first finger glides along and then go back and forth to the first position, second position, third position second position, over and over like this. Just strum down. And then, when you're ready to change to the second part, when you come back to, you'll go do, 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 back to the second position and go right into that. And this is all written down on the sheet. I will show you in a second. You're gonna go to the second part and just go right into it and practice that over and over and over again. First position, second position, third position, second position, over and over and over again. Really get used to that. And then you go back to the first position, or sorry, the first part. <laughs> and then we go to the turnaround part, the turnaround. We go into whatever version of B7 you want. You can even, you can just strum, you can strum down and then strum down in the other A7 and then back to the first part. Okay. You, to give it a bluesy sound, you give it you give it a long down and a short up. So on on your right hand, to give you an idea, you go. Or you can go faster. So you add that. Down, up, 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 down, down, up, 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 and then right here you go to the turnaround, and when you do that, we can just, you know, do the down. Just do the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you do four downs in there. You can make the, we can do the more complicated strumming part or just kind of stick to the down, up, down, up, down, up. So then, then right after that, you go right back into the first part. I'm gonna play this for you while you're looking at the sheet so you can get an idea while looking at it 
how it's supposed to go. Because I know looking at the fingers uh, is one thing, but also looking at the charts is quite another. So I'll do that for you too. So I'm gonna play it one more time. So you can have that chance to look at that sheet and I'll direct you on where I am while you listen so you can get an idea of how it will sound when you're playing and what you do for each part. It's also all written out very clearly, but just in case, I know some people learn in different ways, so this is just another way for if you need to hear it while looking at it, since it wasn't on the screen while I was just playing. enjoyed that and that you have so much fun playing it. It's something that I've always enjoyed playing around with and we can even make it more exciting from there and we will in future modules and add to that progression. But for now, just rock out and if you have any trouble or have any questions, definitely let me know.